there, everybody. Today we're going to do some balancing reactions. So there's this law in chemistry called the law of conservation of mass, which means anything that has ever been is going to still be there after it reacts. So you can't lose atoms, you can't gain atoms. They just take on different forms or bond to different molecules. So in this case, we have C5H12 reacts with oxygen to form CO2 and H2O. This is a combustion reaction, and we need to balance it. So what I like to do is balance the hydrogens first. So here I see that I have 12 hydrogens, and on this side, I only have two. So in order to have 12 hydrogens on both sides, if I multiply this whole molecule by six, I then have 12 hydrogens. Six H2O molecules will have 12 hydrogens in it. So then I'm gonna go and balance the carbons because that's the next easiest one to balance. I always leave the oxygens for last. So on this side, I can see that I have five carbons. So I need to put a big five in front of the CO2. Five CO2 atoms will have five carbons, or five CO2 molecules will have five carbons in it. So that's good, and now we need to count the O's. So on this side, I have five carbon atoms, but each, or five CO2 molecules, and each CO2 molecule has two oxygens in it. So that means I have 10 oxygen in this uh, molecule, and I have six waters, and each water has one oxygen, which means I have six oxygen in this molecule for a grand total of 16 oxygen. All right, let's go back to this side. Now, O2 gas comes with um, two oxygens per gas molecule, so I need eight O2 molecules to have 16 oxygens. So I have, should have a balanced reaction there. Let's go on to the second example. Um, let's start with the zinc. So on this side I have one zinc and on this side I have one zinc. Perfect. On this side I have one H, but on this side I have two H's. So I need to double my hydrochloric acid. Now I have two hydrogens and then two hydrogens on this side. Perfect, balanced. Now, I doubled the HCl molecule, so now I have two chlorines on this side, and I have two chlorines on this side, so I know my reaction is um, balanced correctly. Thanks for watching, I'll talk to you guys later.